Hello Scorpio! Today I'll be doing your love reading. I ask that my viewers and subscribers and this reading be blessed. That this reading be for Scorpio's highest good. That if I see a positive situation in the cards, that it manifests quickly for Scorpio. And then if I see a negative situation in the cards, that Scorpio has the tools to avoid it completely or get through it smoothly. Please give me the overall energies and messages for Scorpio's current love life. Please give me the overall energy and messages for Scorpio's current love life. Thank you all for watching. Almost done. One more. Okay. Okay, great, guys. Um, so for your energies, we have the Queen of Pentacles, lovely card to start. Some of you are, uh, this is a man or woman, um, are feeling just in a good place, okay? This is, this is Pentacles, and this person is, has accumulated um, some type of wealth. Um, he or she has their life together or on the track to getting it together. So... Um, you, your feelings um, for the other person could be, you could be dealing with an earth sign. You could feel that this person um, has the ability to manifest wealth. This could be how you view the person as well. Um, just a really uh, lovely energy. You could also be receiving some type of offer as well. For the person you're dealing with, um, they have the Ten of Wands. Now, the Ten of Wands is about sometimes burdens and struggles and taking on too much. This person has a lot on their plate. Now, this could be physically or mentally or both. The thing with Tens, though, is it's about endings. And from Tens, we can only go up or start over again. So for whatever your person is going through, it's likely the end of a burden or a struggle. They're ready to put this down, um, and they likely will soon. So they could feel, this could just be them feeling like they're taking on too much, or they could feel that there's some type of burden in the relationship if you are partnered with somebody. Love it. Oh my gosh. For your energies, for the overall relationships energies and where it's headed, we have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is such a beautiful card and such a beautiful energy. Guys, uh, this talks about a new beginning in a, in a relationship. Now, this is a love reading. So if some of you are single, this talks about having a new beginning with um, somebody either from the past or a new person. Um, this is a chance, this is a gift from the universe, this is a chance to really um, start something great with somebody. This is fiery, passionate, sexual energy. This is the feeling of butterflies you get when you're, when you're with someone. I'm going to clarify everything to see what other messages we can get. Please clarify the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Almost done. One more. Oh, 
Okay, wow. This is great. All right, guys, yes. So I'm seeing a lot of um, new beginnings here, a chance at a new beginning. We have the Fool clarifying the Queen of Pentacles in your position here. Um, some of you are really um, manifesting a new start at something. Uh, perhaps after putting a lot of hard work, you are finally able to take uh, to have a new chance at something. The Fool is about taking a leap of faith, um, a to start over, do something over again, or start something um, all, new altogether. Beautiful card. Um, clarifying the Ten of Wands for your partner, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So actually, we have the Queen of Pentacles twice here. Wow. Okay. So some of you... Um, for some of you out there, you are the Queen of Pentacles. You are embodying these characteristics. But this could be about dealing with somebody who has Queen of Pentacles characteristics, man or a woman. So please take what resonates here. Um, this could talk about your partner. It could be a hard worker in a situation. Could be taking on a lot in their life. Um, they could be great at manifesting wealth. Um, they could be a very stable individual as well. Your partner could see you like this as well as a queen of pentacles, individual man or woman. Your partner uh, perhaps could have felt burdened in a situation. And if you're not partnered with this person, this just could be about how um, your person or the person you're thinking about is feeling. <laughs> Clarifying the Ace of Wands, we have Two of Cups. Yay, lovely. Guys, this is beautiful. So uh, for some of you out there, uh, for my singles, you are going to have a new opportunity, a new beginning to... Um, enter into a romantic relationship with somebody. This is new love, guys. If you're already in a relationship, this could talk about strengthening it, um, getting some, getting the spark back, even just having a stronger bond with somebody. This is sometimes also my soulmate card. This is just kindred spirits, being with somebody, um, you feel at home with them. Um, a lot of love here. Wonderful. I am going to take one more card to see if there are any other messages I can get and to seal the reading. Please give me one more card for Scorpio's love life. Please give me one more card for Scorpio. Please give me one more card for Scorpio. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? Please give me one more card for Scorpio. Okay. I had the urge to flip the deck. We have six of wands. So guys, you are victorious in something for sure. Something um, is going your way. Luck is on your side. Lovely. And, um, okay, your final message is the hermit. So, some for some of you out there, you could be feeling, just want to make sure you can see it. This is a very beautiful card in this deck, actually. Um, the hermit is about going within to seek answers of some sort, okay? This man or woman is on a path to enlightenment. The takeaway message from this card too is that he or she is okay with being alone. Um, you could also be feeling alone too, but not in a bad way necessarily uh, because the hermit is choosing to um, be in this state. The hermit is choosing to isolate a little bit. So for some of you out there, you could be isolating um, if you're isolating too much, you know, the message is to try to get out of this mode. But if you're choosing to be this way because you're you're genuinely trying to find answers to something or, you know, be on a better path, you know, um, 
make better life choices for yourself, then this is a great card to get. Um, this is so beautiful too. I don't know. I hope you guys can see it. He has a diamond in the middle of his chest, right? Whatever he's seeking, whatever path he's on is a, is the right one. It's a powerful one. He's receiving answers. He's He's receiving guidance, he or she. So even though I see a lot of opportunities for new love here, um, certainly, and some of you could already be partnered, some of you out there are going within to find guidance and seeking answers, and that's okay too. That's great. Now, before I started your reading, I pulled uh, the Ten of Cups from the Spellcaster's Tarot deck. This is my card of ultimate love, happiness, happy home life. And I pulled it so we could uh, meditate on it and make a wish. Now, for those of you who are single and wish to find love or you're really waiting on someone, I ask that um, you receive love and or a relationship as soon as possible. For those of you who are already partnered, I ask that your relationship is strengthened on the right track and that you continue to receive love. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time with love. Bye.